Café en lait. Oh, there is nothing like it. Springtime in Paris. It is the panacea. Even the most atrophied soul must respond to the glories of Paris in the springtime. Birds buzzing, bees singing, expectation hangs in the air like the scent of cherry blossoms. Love, joy, life, honey. You have lovely hands. <laughs> I know something about hands. I have hands myself. <laughs> that makes me something of an expert. Yeah. And so when I say that you have beautiful hands, you can rest assured that this is true. It seems sadly ironic that a man such as myself, a man who rejoices in the simple pleasures of life, a man who can spend a contented afternoon watching a puppy laugh or a child chase his tail in the grass. How poetically ironic that such a man should spend his life fighting tooth and nail with the most vicious criminal elements of society. But it is my duty. I travel a lonely road, no time for love. But still, at moments like this, how nice it would be to share the joys of life with someone special. To share a glance, to laugh as one. Well. To have a head to work. How nice that would be. <laughs> Perhaps your friend would like to join us. Like this morning. How did you know that? It's the only time you do that. 
It will be again. And then when the man comes along. Well, in that case, Inspector Clouseau better start looking for the lawyers. You mean? The board meeting is at 2 this afternoon. This afternoon? <laughs> if everything goes the way I expect it to, you'll be out of here tomorrow. See you at 2. Clouseau! Some people would consider your methods most of the orthodox stuff there. Just making sure you aren't a better liar than I am a psychiatrist. Two o'clock. I think I'll take a walk. Marvin is the morning. This place gives me the creeps. You're probably just having an aversion to lunatics. Most of the grounds are quite ugly. I suppose it has a soothing effect upon the troubled drains of the populace. Remember, Inspector, you're supposed to sign the order to transport Jean Turnier to prison today. Ah, Turnier, the bank robber. I don't be happy to sign that order. It's time for him this time. The order is on your desk. Priority one. I won't be long. A brief but pleasant chat. A few cat words of encouragement for my old friend and comrade, Thanks. Does he know you're coming? No, I want it to be a surprise. Do you think this visit is a good <coughs> idea? I mean, he's been incarcerated for nearly three years and... Yes, poor devil. I remember the last time we saw each other. He didn't even know me. He bit my leg. <laughs> yes, exactly. So perhaps the surprise of seeing you... Oh, it's just to be an emotional moment. Two old friends. Friends? Compatriots. Brothers in arms, so to speak. You don't know about me over there. What's your tongue, Francois? How petty of you to belittle one who's less fortunate than you? As dedicated public servants, we should refrain from using such epithets. Sorry, Inspector. Sorry or not, I'm still ashamed of you. Wait for me at the car, and never, never let me hear you say a loony bird again. Yes, sir. How? <laughs> ah, I see you are an archer. May I see your view? My view? Yes, your view. I don't have a view. Don't tell me you don't have a view. It is right there in your hands. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, a fine and deadly weapon in the right hands. Do you see such a thing which angles down over the path? No. Keep your eye on it. Ow! <laughs> nice shot. Your view is defective. Are you going to scalp him? You gotta feel you really bad. <laughs> do, do not be afraid of one of me. I will help you. Oh! Oh God, Cluso! Please, there is no need to thank me. <laughs> thank you? For saving your life. I removed the arrow. Here, let me inspect the damage. No! No! It's alright! Some... Ah! Oh, I was just hit in the chest, that's all. Yes, you have received a large pew. Pew? <laughs> what? You said pew. Yes, I knew that. Such a pew could be serious. <laughs> you would have a... concussion. <laughs> what are you doing here? Have you been committed? Of course not. I made many things, but I am not the lunatic. <laughs> no, I've come to sprinkle a little sunshine to spread this tattles of friendship over this new Arctic landscape. I've come to visit you, my old friend. Ah, let me have a look at you, eh? Ah, it's the picture of hell. Not like the last time I saw you, eh? That was a long time ago. I was under a great deal of stress. It is the joy, my old friend. But I meant that you have packed under such pressure. I must tell you, my aunt screamed when I heard you were consigned to this baboon factory. But apparently it has done you the world of good. I think I'll sit down. Let me help you. No. I, I, I really, I'm fine. Just a, just a little shaky. Probably the shark. The surprise to see you here again today. Let it all out, my friend. I know the reunion would be an emotional one. We are forced to put on the steel mask for the public. To be stoic. Strong. Support. We turn off crying. But now we are just two friends. 
chơi một món có mấy món Nhưng mà là gì? Sao tự dẫn đi tiếng? Tiếng một giáo chê You honestly believe what you are saying? You guys be your friends? Friends and more Congratulations Comrades That's why I was so crushed when you were reduced to a raving lunatic And what do you think drove me to this lunacy? Pressure, my friend Pressure and a hormone imbalance you must feel no shame because you couldn't handle the rigors of the job of Chief Inspector. Some men are born to lead, and some are destined to follow. No, yes, and you, you, old friend, a leader? Well... Always a leader, eh? Onwards and upwards, to the top? It is my karma. My destiny. Uh... Who knows, a few more years of the force, and I might run for... Public office. <laughs> you can count on my votes. You do not know how that touches my heart. This tells me something about Dreyfus. Most men in your position will be bitter and vindictive. Yes, very. After all, I have taken your former job and all the glory and prestige that goes with it. While you, you've been cast aside in disgrace, a hapless, dishonored, shattered man. I sit on a lofty pinnacle, basking in the adoration of my peers and the people of France. While you, a shadow of your former self, but forever bears the scars of your disgrace and your lunacy. But do you wish me ill? No. <laughs> do you think that you would honor me with your vote? I am speechless. You become committed to everything in my power to get you out of this place. Oh! 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 Ow! 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 I think I... I think you should be going now. Yes, I must be on my way. Is something wrong? Yes, there is a filthy fly. <laughs> Don't move. The swine flies on your nose. <laughs> oh. I got the filthy oh. beast more than me. Oh, please. Oh, of course I will help you. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh. ow. Oh. 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 I'm fine. I'm perfect. Oh, I have to in every. Everywhere I'm getting better and better. So I'm afraid it's just not your day. Ah, but the day is that no meal. You will now go home, eh? And you will drive off in the new car that should rightfully be mine, eh? And then I'll uh, have an interview with the sanity board, eh? And they will set me free. And then? And then? I will kill you. Isolation. You talk me? Yes. Luzo, I will get you, Luzo. You're still a raving lunatic. Papa? Margaret, what are you doing up in this hour, child? I might ask you the same question. Couldn't sleep. Papa, really? You can't keep going at this pace. Why do you want your all day, pacing all night? It's unhealthy. Alas, it both blessed and cursed by no racked brain. I think it's time you put your busy little brain to bed. But, no arguments, Papa. Your theories on dimensional mechatronics will be here in the morning. Let me read Jarvis. He can want some milk for us. Very well, have your way with me. I realize that it's useless to argue the point. Exactly. Don't be upset with me, Papa. Upset? With the joy of my life? Impossible. I promise, Bobby, that I will look after you and I intend to. Just your way, miss. Father is having trouble going to sleep, Jarvis. Would you want some milk for us? Yes, sir. I'll get right to it. With a smidge of sugar and vanilla extract? Yes, sir. Don't be surly, Jarvis. No, ma'am. Your skews? Jarvis isn't surly, dear. He just looks surly. And you look exhausted. As soon as your meeting with the NATO representative is completed, I'm taking you to Blackpool, where you spend two weeks on a beach there without so much as words spoken for your silly old doomsday machine. I wish you wouldn't call it that, pumpkin. Well, you know what I mean. Now, I suggest we reach out to the library where we'll have a milk, after which I demand you get some sleep. Do I make myself quite clear? Abundantly clear. <laughs>
Quieto. 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 Ahí no. Quieto. Ahí no, yo aquí a software. Quieto. Mm. <coughs> Dear me, I must assume that Kido is not home. <coughs> not here. Mm, perhaps not. Probably shopping. Or yet the fool should have started dinner by now. <sighs> Really? 
Yes, I have replaced the lunatic to drive us as chief inspector. Ah. I am sure better sleeps much more safe because of the change, and the killers and thieves and assassins tremble in their shoes. You are most kind. I come to the point. I have the honor of presenting you with the first annual Shark Cluzo Award for Service to Brother Beyond the Call of Duty. Oh, you have no idea how much this means to me. You certainly deserve it. You have piqued my curiosity. Careful. It's very fragile. Well, I better be off. So soon? Yes. I only have two minutes until uh, my Viking meter expires. <laughs> We must obey the laws. <laughs> a pleasure to meet you, Inspector. The pleasure was all mine, Monsieur. You call Inspector? I am the Inspector, idiot! Show me that you watch the door. That won't be necessary. I can find my way out. Goodbye, Inspector, and best of luck to you. I shall always treasure your devotion. That man looked familiar. He looked like Inspector Dreyfus. Don't be ridiculous. Dreyfus is many things, but he is not a hunchback. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been his spies. Are you forgetting who is the trade professional here? Are you forgetting who is the chief inspector of the Sauté? It would take more than a stupid hunchback to scan to full name. Now, put the package in my bedroom. The package is ticking. I think it's a bomb. You will not pay to make assumptions. Now take it to my bedroom. <laughs> Why was there one with a bum? Uh, 
and I'm John of the Scotland Yard. Are you alright? Uh, would you care to sit down? That will not be necessary, Mr. Yard. Drummond. Yes, and how is Scotland these days? <laughs> my grandmother on my mother's side was from Scotland. Who's my lady? It's a grown woolet, nick to nick. Most disturbing. Who would do such a thing? That's what we hope to find out. I should just be going to the scene of the crime. The fast for the fun. The fun for the fun. The fast for the fun. Exactly. I should just be calling it to make sure the staff is assembled for an interrogation. I need not remind you that time is of the essence. May I take your hat and coat, sir? Just a moment. Who, who are you? I'm Joey, sir. I see. What is it you do? I'm the butler. I see. The butler. <laughs> and what is it? And where? And where were you doing the kidnapping? I was not unconscious. Can you prove it? No. I'm afraid you have to take my word for it. How convenient. I suppose you're all wondering why I brought you here. <laughs> As I was saying... Uh, you were saying, you suppose you were all wondering... I know what I was saying. You were all wondering why I asked you here. So no need to speak unless I ask a question. What is your name? I'm Sean. Gardner. And what is it you do? I'm the gardener. What is it? No one's in first place! <laughs> Don't be fooling with me, monsieur! This is a serious matter! Everyone in the room is under suspicion! What? Yes, I know that! It is a very good chance that someone in this room knows more about the murders than she or she is telling. What? Yes. 
I've been with the Fatsman family for over 30 years. I might add that never once in those 30 years did an act of violence ever take place in this house. And now, this. You exaggerate the hysteria. All our blemish on the floor is questionable. What has happened to the floor can be easily repaired. What has happened to Dr. Fortfasser? Fast border that and his daughter is a different matter. And it is my job to bring the guilty party or parties to justice. Have you any more questions for me, Inspector? Why? Do you have something to fear? No, I'm late. I have a previous engagement. And Chef, where is this engagement? The Brass Club. It's in town. And what is it you do with this village group? Oh, Barbara Streisand, uh, Cindy Lauper, and Dolly Parton on Saturdays. I beg your pardon? I'm a female impersonator. <laughs> that is your, is your problem. Exactly. May I go now? Very well. I will speak with you later. Maybe you can catch my acts. Perhaps. <laughs> I get the feeling that something's about to crack wide open. Yes, I get the same feeling. Jock, may I call you Jock? No. Inspector, then. We were led to believe that you had a theory. And who led you to believe this? Your superiors. Oh, in that case, I do have a theory. <laughs> Would you mind filling us in? Very well. First, what do we know? We know that one. Dr. Fassborder and the daughter have been kidnapped. Two, we know that somebody kidnapped them. And three, we know that whoever kidnapped them is probably a criminal. <laughs> to tell, amazing deduction. Yes, so now we know the what. The what is that there has been a kidnapping. Now we must determine the why, and that will lead us to the who. Could you be a little more specific, Inspector? The what that is. <laughs> The butler did it! <laughs> Professor Fassbender, what an honor to have you and your lovely daughter as my guests. Who the devil are you? Ah, uh -huh. who the devil indeed. Let's just, just say for the moment that I'm your host and I will be doing everything in my power to make you stay here at Monty Castle as pleasant as possible. Providing, of course, I have your, I have your complete and full cooperation. And what would that be? I am fascinated to work on time-space relationships, in particularly the electromagnetic abbreviations. I see, and you work up until the government, or do you expect me to sell my discoveries to the highest bidder? Neither, Doctor. Nothing so mundane. You and I are going to join forces. We shall build a new state machine and conquer the world! You're mad! Mad! Was Hannibal mad? And Alexander? Surely Napoleon was the maddest of them all! Who? Mad! I shall see, Doctor! I shall tell you nothing! I think you will! I'll die first! Make them comfortable. The plans I have in store. Tonya, the bank robber. <laughs> Unfortunately, what are you going to do? Something so painful, so hideous that you will have no choice but to go off with me. You want to estimate me, sir? No, not at all, doctor. Please, oh please. It would be the last to underestimate you, doctor. There is no underestimate your father's love for a temper fragile. What are you going to do, that black boy? If you do not have the stomach to what is about to happen, you should go. Oh, God! No! No! Dr. Fassbender can proceed to the laboratory. There is much work to be done. 
Is it money you hope to gain from this? Fame, or is it just an insatiable lust of power? There is only one thing I want, and with the doom that is sheen of my power, the world will deliver him on a silver platter. Him. Yes, him. Clouseau. Show them out, Tunir. Why is he here? Why is he here? To kill me. But that is against the law. 
I'm afraid that won't stop them. I was thinking, I know too much. I think we should be going now. Excuse me, can you not see? It's time in the middle of a takeoff. Why are you in the right You're too much. The secret is in the eyes. The one must show no fear. And of course, years of training has. Huh?
And for fashion, we pay the ultimate price. Such a woman could make most men forget their duty, but I am not most men. More's the pity. Yes, and once again, I fucking follow the details of my head rather than my heart. Once again, I leave my emotions standing on the shore while I hoist the main sails at his honor, cast off the lines that are weakness and frailty, and stand on the poop deck that is justice. <laughs> and with another cast on my heart, I set sail through the angry seas of sail, of evil, danger, and decadence. I sit and only watch, but my head is held high, for the ship I sail is named Duty. <laughs> and though the seas be dark and deep, I fear not, for I sail towards the setting sun, pure, bright, and lighting my way. And in the depths of my despair, where I falter or lose my way, the voice of truth rings up upon the waters, and it says, Sir. <laughs> it says, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. I must be off to Munich. I thought you were dead, not a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. 
I have to twinkle again. Don't do anything till I get back. <laughs> Too late. The countdown started. Ooh. Turn on the viewer. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven.
wasn't supposed to go off stage yet. <laughs> but every quick 20 weeks would not help. <laughs> so I moved out. Who is it? This is the maid, yeah? I come to clean the room, yeah? The room is already cleaned. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah. I'll only be a moment, yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to get some sleep before I was going to the Apollo Fest. But if you must clean, I guess you must clean. It is my duty. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I know something about duty. So you are already. What does he call? It's called springtime in Siberia. A Russian buggy? Do you like it? It reminds me of someone. Someone special. Mushka! <laughs> Mushka, please! I suggest you stop making this fool out of yourself and do your duty! You're right. They have no choice. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. My key. But you have your key. 
If I had my key, I would not be standing here asking you for it. But I just gave it to you. You just gave it to me? Yes. <sighs> you know who I am? Of course, you are the inspector. Chief! Inspector. You are Chief Inspector Brizot. Of this hotel. Of this hotel. Do you know how I became Chief Inspector Brizot of this hotel? No, but I suppose you will tell me. I became Chief Inspector Brizot of this hotel by being a first rate detective. Shall I give you an example of my first rate detective one way? Do I have a choice? A first rate detective will easily deduce the torture. Amazing. I'm about 38 years old. 39, but I have a young. And you are an alcoholic. How do you know that? Because a short time ago you were so drunk that you gave someone else my key. <laughs> In that case, with all due respect, I suggest that perhaps it is the first rate detective who is drunk and has forgotten that a short while ago he came in, picked up the key and instantly lost it due to a drunken stupor. <laughs> A first rate detective would also do this, that if you persist in this argument, I will be forced to have speech with your superiors, and you will be out of a job, and you will not be able to buy any more shares. In that case, I have no alternative but to admit my mistake and give you another key. Merci. Don't hurt me. I will.
It has a marvelous restaurant that is world famous for the singing with us. In two days, I'll meet you there. And while the waiter sings on the blog, we will sip the vino, stare into each other's eyes, and see of nothing but life, love, and the sweetness of the moment. I'll be waiting. Be careful, my darling. <coughs> You 
can't even talk about other men like him. And you can thank God that there, there is only one of him. Compared to a dozen cruisers, the Duke's name machine would be a one and missile. It took all the great nations in their trade assassin to eliminate Cruzo. Even so, he might still be alive. He's only human, boss. Human? Aha! Uh -huh. But he's not! And that's what I've been trying to tell you. Of course he's not human. And now get back to the phone and let me know as soon as you hear something definite. Right. Doctor, shut at your service. Over there, Doc. Hurry up, Doctor. I'm in agony. Lock the door. I don't want to be disturbed. <coughs> <laughs> Hurry, Doctor, please! Okay. The bag does not open. <laughs> now, open wide. Mm. Yeah, tell me if this hurts. Uh, this one? Uh -huh. How about this one? Oh, oh. Ah, that is the naughty one! <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna fill it? Fill it? With what? I couldn't fill that hole with my elbow! Then for God's sake, please pull it! Pull it? Yes, of course, pull it! But give me something to put me out! Something to put you out? Hurry, Doctor, the pain is getting worse! Relax! Ooh. <laughs> doctor? What is that? Something to ease the pain! <laughs> Nitrous oxide concentrate! <laughs> Nothing else? Yeah, if you waste some this, then you won't feel a thing! <laughs> Hurry! Now we're in deep! Breathe deep! And again. How do you feel? Uh, a little dizzy. <laughs> What's so funny? Not the thing. <laughs> then why are you laughing? I don't know. Why are you? Because I can't help it. Would you like me to pull your food now? Oh, I love it. Oh, uh, uh, now hold still. Stewards, the name of the Lord. 
Where's my, where's my friend? Where's he? You're here. He was not to have a henchman. Yeah. But for some reason, he is not here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 